What's going on, poor fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today we're going to be talking about all things trade period, who's been linked to Port Adelaide, who's looking likely to go, and those key players, Jared Pollock and Chad Wingard. What's going on with them? Also going to look at um, what we could get in return with some of the trades that have been thrown up lately. Some new developments have arisen with some players as well. So, uh, we're in the trade room, which is just actually my bedroom. Let's have a look and see what this trade period has to offer for 2018. As we know, the last few weeks, there have been a lot of Port Adelaide players linked to other clubs. Some that have been thrown up for trade, some who've been linked to our club from other clubs as well. Um, as we know, Scott Lysette um, is the big name player there, looking very much likely to come to Port Adelaide. But we'll get to him very shortly. We're going to start off with the most obvious one that has been announced uh, over the last few weeks. Um, it looks very likely to happen very early, and that's Jared Polek. He's been linked to North Melbourne with a... <laughs> A godfather offer of 3.5 mil over five years. We couldn't offer him anywhere near that. Apparently, according to Kane Corns, that was uh, three years for 600k, um, you know, 600k per year uh, for three years. So we couldn't give him that fourth or fifth year, um, and rightly so. I mean, you don't want to be risking him, especially with his uh, recent injury issues as well. So uh, what we could get in return for Jared, I easy. It's a first round pick. Pick uh, I think 10. Or nine is theirs. So depending on um, any compensation picks or any um, other trade picks that have been given, traded picks that have been given to other clubs, um, yeah, we'll get that top ten pick um, from North Melbourne and uh, hopefully use that to get a key speedster to replace Polak for the coming years. A recent um, update um, for some key players as well. Jack Holmes was obviously his name thrown up um, in the exit meetings as a possible trade that could happen in the future. Uh, especially with him getting limited opportunities and looking unlikely to cement a spot, especially with our back six with Dougal Howard, Tom Cleary and Tom Jonas. Um, it's, it's looking likely he will uh, possibly go, actually. He's been linked to Gold Coast and especially with Stephen May looking uh, increasingly likely to go to someone like a Collingwood. Uh, us giving uh, Gold Coast Jack Homps could um, free up some space and you know, help out Gold Coast, may even help out that deal as well with Stephen May to just get it across the line and a win-win situation could come. Uh, as you know, I put up a, list, a recent list management video um, stating that Jack Comps could be possible trade bait as well. So this could be a very good opportunity to, for us to get a late pick in return and even just solidify our draft picks even more. Jack needs another one that I threw up in uh, trade bait as well and I, he looks increasingly uh, likely to leave as well, either be delisted or head off to... Uh, a Melbourne club, Collingwood looks likely to be a suitor, according to Michael Angelo, Angelo Rucci. Um, even possibly looking likely it could be North Melbourne. So he could sweeten the Polak deal. We could get a late third pick. Um, it just depends on how that deal works out. It could be a straight swap for a first pick, as I said before. But um, if North really are keen on Jake Need as well for some extra speed, then um, definitely Jake Need um, could be an opportunity to really cement that deal. Um, and yeah. Jake needs another one that definitely uh, looks likely to go. And um, unfortunately for Jake, no major loss for us. Uh, couldn't really solidify his spot in the side. Um, and he just struggles to find any form. And he looks like he struggled with injury too later in the year. So uh, definitely Jake Need um, could be a trade sealer. He could be a different trade altogether. Or he could be de delisted and head into the rookie draft. Um, that's up for debate. But... Uh, you won't see Jake Need at Port Adelaide, I don't think, next year, from my point of view. Carl Amon, that's a recent one as well that's come up. Um, he looks very likely to go to either St Kilda or Hawthorne. This has just come up over the last couple of days. and he, um, Even though he's contracted for next year, he really um, has set a desire to leave, to go home to Victoria. Um, he's not getting much opportunity. He's been injury riddled the last couple of years, and every time it looks like he's going to cement a support, a spot, he's gonna he always get a knee injury or some injury sustained um, during a training or uh, during a game. So um, that's an interesting one. I didn't really think Carl would be one to leave. He was thrown up as trade bait in the recent list management video, as I said before. Uh, I didn't really think he'd leave, but uh, by the looks of it, um, and a lot of fans will probably say, "Yeah, move him on." Um, and we just got to remember what he's been through to get to where he, um, he is today. So. Um, if he does go, as we know, if you leave Port Adelaide, we wish you all the best. We don't act like the crosstown rivals who send you on their way and give you a bloody meeting around a fire and ask you why'd you go. But yeah, Carl Amon um, 
wouldn't be a major loss. I mean, some say he could have even been the replacement for Pollock. I don't think he's quite ready for that. And um, for his desire to get home, get the deal done. St Kilda will have a late... I reckon he's worth around a late third or fourth round pick. Um, and look, that just strengthen, strengthens our draft picks even more. Because um, you never know what you can find later in the draft. Um, and it's a really strong draft this year. Apparently it's really deep as well. Um, so definitely look at that opportunity. And um, if you want to go younger on the list, then Carl Amon's definitely one you could move on. Because some people say list clogger. Um, you can say that about Jack Knee, Jack Homsch as well. Uh, Matthew Broadbent was a name thrown up um, over the last couple of weeks as well. Don't think he's got any suitors. Definitely doesn't look like he's going to um, find a new home. Um, I'm pretty sure he's contracted for next year. So you definitely see him in port colours next year, I'd say. Uh, hopefully get over his injuries. He could be a valuable asset in the 22 if he can get his form right going forward. But I think um, as this at this stage, get his rehab right, get his... Uh, body right, um, and maybe in the second half of next year, you could see him in the Port team. He's not in the best 22. I think that defence is basically done unless you find a new spot for him on a wing. Um, but yeah, I don't see that happening um, for him to go. His home is Port Adelaide. He's SA boy, and I will see. you'll see Matthew Broadbent on the list next year. Uh, as you would have seen the last couple of days, Chad Wingard on the move. Looks most likely to stay, see out his contract for next year. Um, next year's a different story. Does he go to free agency? Depends on his form. Um, he's been linked to Hawthorne and Bulldogs. Bulldogs have a massive offer, as you would have um, heard. So you'd, you'd say he'd probably say he's a South Australian boy. He's not going to look like he's going to go anytime soon. Um, and he wants to stay. So if anything, it's up to the club if he wants to, if they want to get rid of him or not. Um, and it's just, yeah, as Ken Hankley said, if he was in charge, two first round picks. The Bulldogs, you can say, give pick five. They have to find a second first pick for mine. Um, Hawthorne don't really have a decent enough first pick to even say here. Uh, let's do a straight swap. A lot of um, sugar on top would have to be done to make sure he leaves. Um, and, yeah, he doesn't want to leave. He's a Port Adelaide boy. And um, as much as I'd like to see him stay, if the deal can be done, then I'm all for it if we can get the right deal. If not... Chad stays, given a nice enough offer uh, for next year to sign early enough so he doesn't have to worry about free agency and really weighing up his options again next year. Um, same with Tom Jonas, seal him up um, so we don't have to have to have any of these worries heading into next year's trade period or the free agency period. Just before I get to Scott Lysette as well, it was announced on Tuesday that Justin Westhoff um, will sign a 13th season so I'm on for a 13th season, so a big congratulations to the Hoff. The beard stays on. And we'll play two game 250th in 2018 as well. Uh, 2019, sorry. Had a stellar 2018 and well-deserved contract. I reckon he could play on to 40, let's be honest. All right, so the big one, Scott Lysette, uh, free agent. West Coast don't look likely to match that offer. Uh, it's four years. Um, I'm not sh too sure on the figure as yet, but... It's a big addition, and you could almost see him playing that first ruck role and Paddy Ryder playing that more forward role. Maybe Jack Watts moves up to a defensive line. Uh, yeah, defence or on the wing. Um, that will be up for debate in um, you know, what happens next year with structure and stuff like that and how we look and who we lose because um, some key players we have to bring in, youngsters, uh, who goes as well. If anything, this is going to be a big trade period for Port Adelaide. Um, and as well... D-list will happen after the trade period, so uh, any more that have to leave uh, will be announced after then, so it's going to be a big 10 days. Free agency um, as well. Sam Mays looks likely he could be on the move back home, so do we look at him as well? Um, it's a big, big trade period. I, I'm a little bit excited, but I'm a little bit nervous because there's a lot of negative talk around who goes and who stays as well as some positives who is looking likely to come to Port Adelaide. Not a lot of players linked, but we definitely could target some players, even Aaron Hall as well. Um, I put in the list of management videos. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll leave it in the link, uh, the link in the description below. I'll also leave uh, the Chad Wingard dilemma video as well in the link. So if you want to check out more on Chad Wingard, check that out too. Thanks very much for watching, Paul fans. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new for plenty more Port Adelaide content coming out throughout the trade period and throughout the rest of the off-season ready for a big 2019 season. And as always, 
Okay.